Hello, I am going to give you a walking tour of our farm. So there's our 1885 farmhouse. It needs a little bit of TLC right there. I need to find somebody who can do stonework. Um, Timmy got that project uh, mostly done, but the wall needs to be redone. Um, garden beds, these have been amended over the past five years. We put in the fence last year. Thank you to um, some awesome people who helped us get everything put in the ground because Tim was not able to do that. We have chickens, 16 right now, 16 girls. This is our hoop house. Usually this is green and planted by now, but not right now. Usually we do tomatoes, um, peppers in here, and lots of herbs. In the back, there's uh, an area where we have rabbits. We've had goats in the past. Um, so, let's see here. Hello, needs to be cleaned, as you can see. I've got somebody coming to look at them today. There's a door that goes out to the chicken area um, where the goats go to pasture. And we used to have all the goats and chickens in here together. This needs to be cleaned up. Lots of planting stuff. Okay, here's another big garden bed area. Um, we had an awesome crew here last summer that helped to uh, cardboard this area and mulch it. Um, and then back there is prairie. We have been, uh, we were trying to restore the prairie to increase the biodiversity and make it, um, yeah, just more like the native Wisconsin prairie that it used to be. Um, it's getting there. There's a trail that goes all the way around the back through the evergreen trees and then our neighbor farms the rest of the land around it. So there's a big garden bed up along that sunroom which is to the left of the Cream City Brick. That sunroom is in dire need of repair. We have glass ceiling and we've got water leaking through it so that is an orchard right there. So we have about 12 to 15 fruit trees. We planted them all as very tiny little trees, but this there's lots and lots of different types of plants in here for cross-pollination. So our goal was to really make this a biodiverse habitat for cross-pollination. done a lot of mulching on the top end of it. Um, I haven't made it all the way through. So, um, and then this area here is, oh, it's chilly here. <laughs> uh, so this was all grass. We've converted it into kind of a mini little meadow. Um, this is all Wisconsin wildflowers and grasses that grow that are just beautiful and lovely. So I uh, weed whacked everything down and now the growth is starting to emerge. So we're kind of creating a little bit of a sitting space up in the middle. That ponderosa pine needs to come down. It died last year, I think. There's a bit of a drought and it suffered. So this is all area that used to be grass. We're kind of letting the middle grow longer um, with the trail around it, our path. Those stakes need to come out of the ground. And then all along the border, we've planted uh, white pines, I think, and um, poplars. So I think that is nothing really to say about over there. We've got a garden.
gar a tree in the garden that dropped, dropped over the garden. Another tree in that area, um, right there, that needs to come, be uh, cut up and put in our wood pile. And this is just a brush pile from stuff that came down through the winter and late last fall. Here's our wood pile, an area that got mulched from wood clippings last year. And I think that's all. So the goal of our property was to really create a very biodiverse habitat to um, make a home for all the little creatures, our four-legged brothers and sisters who share the space with us. area. I've whacked it all down and I was going to dig it out and create a herb, make this an herb garden right here. Um, so that just has not happened yet. <laughs> all right, that's the tour. Thank you for going on it with me.